Round Wavetable Pack is a collection of 32 instrument racks and wavetable presets for Ableton Live 10. I've reached out to six other producers and sound designers to create a nice collection of different sounds using the new wavetable synthesizer. Those producers are Thomas Glendening, Josh Spoon, Mark Towers, Mark Mosier, Dan and Pierce from Patches, and Isaac Kotak. I'm going to show you a couple of the different patches from each person, and I hope you enjoy it and you download it and use it in your own productions. So when you open the project, you're going to see just a couple folders. You'll see the ALS file for the wavetable pack. You can just click on that and it'll open up this session right here. You'll see all 32 patches loaded onto tracks. There's a lessons file on the right hand side that tells you a little bit about each person and their contributions. And you can find all of our presets in the wavetable presets folder and they're organized by each person and their contribution. So you can see what everybody has made to create this pack. First up, I'm gonna show you one of my presets. It's called Pressy Smooth Keys. And it's meant to sound like an electric piano with a couple little extra features. As you press on aftertouch, you'll get some filter movement in there. And this is all placed inside an instrument rack I made that allows you to put together some of um, Live Ten's new effects on your sound, including echo. Next, we're gonna look at one from Subaqueous. This one is called the Nostalgic Morph Bass. And there's some nice controls for the amount of reverb we have on our sound and the decay. The stereo width. We can morph the sound. And there's also a filter. And it gets pretty powerful as we open up that filter. Very cool sound. Moving along, and I'm gonna go to one from Thomas Glendening, who does the site Elephant. And this one is called Below the Ocean. It's a nice arpeggiated sound. We can control the rate and the amount of steps. The sub amount. color of the sound. We have a spin effect and also echo is inside this rack. And you can open up and see there's quite a lot going on in this particular rack. Very nice, very nice sound. Next we're going to move to one from the producer's kitchen, Josh Spoon. And this one is called Wave Bell. Very cool sound, nice punchy, almost a brass type of sound. Little metallic and a nice little kind of shake or uh, vibrato as this sound fades out. I think it also makes a pretty cool bass sound too. Okay, moving along, we're gonna go to one from Mark Towers and Mark supplied us with a collection of acid type sounds. <laughs> There's some nice glide and legato on these sounds. And it gives us a rise time. It sounds as if it's playing around with the filter. Fall time. We have intensity. A distortion and some echo and a very powerful sound. Great for basses. Next we're going to move to one from Mark Mosier and Mark Mosier has decided to create sort of a cinematic epic sound to his synths and I picked this one the noise pad to show you in the video. Just love all the different overtones in this sound. 
Open it up so you can see inside. Lots of different devices in here. And some nice control over different modulation times and amounts. Got the dissonant being. And I love that all the overtones and harmonics, it reminds me a lot of like guitar feedback. Some vinyl distortion. Some noise as well. Lots going on in here. A little bonus to the packs, the presets that Mark created is that he filled in the info view for us to tell you a little bit about some of the different MIDI modulations that are going on inside here. And finally, let's have a look at a preset from Patches. Now this one is called Something Bounce, not sure how to pronounce that, but it's a very deep and interesting uh, preset, so I wanna open it up and we'll look at it. Lots of movement going on. We've got what seems like two different layers. There's two layers of the instrument rack. I can turn down this blip sound, and we're left with this sort of vocal strings type sound. There's a parameter called forever, which is playing around with our release times, it looks like. Another timing control here in strings. We've got some sparkle we can add in. We'll bring in our blips again, which is where I think the sparkle is being applied. I like how Patches has named things kind of in a unique way that we don't really know exactly what we're playing around with, re-entry. Never really seen that parameter on a device, but it is a fun way to think about sound in terms of like abstract ideas rather than technical parameters. And these presets by Patches do a nice job of that. Finally, a tone control. Very interesting sound, lots of depth. And as you can see, there's quite a bit going on inside this instrument rack as well. And part of the fun is exploring it and seeing what we have inside. And lots of fun stuff. So there it is, folks. This is the Round Wavetable Pack. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much to Josh, Thomas, Mark, and Mark, Patches, and Isaac Kotek for participating in this collection. We've got a lot of great sounds, 32 in total. I hope you enjoy them and they find their way into your own musical productions. Thanks for watching and take care.